On today's Tech Help for Churches, the three features that make PowerPress a must-use for podcasters. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Tech Help for Churches. This is the show where every week I help you with um, using new media, social media, the internet, for your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to join the conversation, so just do that below the video. Now, if you've subscribed to my podcast of this show, which you can do by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe, there's no video for you to leave a comment under. No problem. Just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash THFC and uh, just leave your comment under one of those shows. That's a great way to do it as well. Um, also, by the way, if you'd like to subscribe, then go to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. Or if you're watching on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button there. That's a great way to go about it as well. So we're in a series on podcasting, and I have for a few weeks had an idea of creating uh, an episode all about PowerPress, and I just didn't know what way to go. So as I was looking over it, it occurred to me that there's really three really great reasons why your church should be using it if you have a podcast. And so I thought that I would go through those reasons, and then we could talk about um, just what the use case for each of these is and why really you need to be using it. So I'm going to speed by a couple of no-brainers. First off, no-brainer number one is that it creates an iTunes and Google Play compliant feed for you. So you don't have to do any hand coding. You don't have to send it somewhere else that may or may not be there when you need it. Uh, there's just a lot of things you don't have to do. It's just a plug-in. You put in your link to your media. You're done once you're set up. So that's kind of the no-brainer reason to use it, number one. Uh, no-brainer reason number uh, two to use it is players. So you can, let's say you just have an audio podcast. Well, how do you play audio on your site? There are, since some of the more recent releases of WordPress, ways to do it fairly easily, but really I like the flexibility of PowerPress. So PowerPress allows you to embed a player on your site with album art, etc. But those are just a couple of really great reasons. I thought right now we would head over and I will uh, just show you some stuff on my computer as to why I think there's no better reason than to use PowerPress. Now, if you're listening to the audio, I'm going to still just describe what I see here, but this might be a good opportunity for you to download the video. Just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash THFC, short for Tech Help for Churches, and there you can uh, find this episode and uh, watch it there or do it over on YouTube. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. Okay, so here we are in Blueberry PowerPress. Uh, we're in the back end of my website, and I've gone ahead and clicked. I've installed PowerPress. I've been using it for years, so that was pretty straightforward and easy to do. Um, but once it's installed, you've got several options over here. I'm not going to go through all the options, but I did want to take a look at a few of them. I mentioned in the introduction that the no-brainer reasons to use them include that it sets up a feed for you. Uh, here you can see that you can uh, tweak the audio player to your liking. You can tweak the video player to your liking as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can use either an HTML5 video player or uh, this video player 
that uh, is the media element.js JavaScript video player really is up to you or you can just hide the video player and do what I do and embed the YouTube link just something else that's open for you as a possibility so those are kind of the no-brainer reasons um, let's look at these two options right here the podcast channel and the category podcasting um, those those are just really cool reasons to use this as well um, so first off we'll go to podcast channels now these two different uh, ways of doing things might seem confusing at first but I want to explain them to you when you have a podcast channel that means you can have multiple pieces of media on a single blog post so this is particularly helpful if like me you have both an audio version and a video version of the exact same content maybe some people prefer the audio you know they like to listen while they're jogging or riding in the car that's where I do most of my podcast listening myself or maybe they want the video version because they prefer to see all the video that's fine too and that's what I did so basically I have a default podcast which um, further subdivides into different categories and we'll get into that in a second and then for each podcast I also have a secondary podcast which is the video version and that's for my question and answer show my uh, video feed of this show which if you're watching you'll actually see my screen or uh, Technobabble and you'll notice that I don't actually have one for the screencast show which I do ProPresenter and other similar tutorials on and the reason for that is that's the primary and only version of that show it's only video so I think of podcast channels as your secondary uh, media for any given blog post so that's how I use that so that's what podcast channels do is they provide a secondary version of the media this could by the way just as equally easily be like a standard definition video file and a high definition video file or a kind of low quality audio file and a high quality audio file depending on how you're doing it you could potentially have four or five different channels per show to use that term and use that with all podcasting now another way to organize your media is with categories so again under PowerPress I'm going to click on category podcasting and basically what you do is on, in WordPress you have different categories to help organize stuff well you can say well this particular category is also a podcast so you have a main podcast feed and then you can have a subcategories for each of those so I have the tech help for churches category the techno babble category the eternity changers which I'm not using anymore but should I ever resurrect it here it is uh, the question and answer category for my question and answer show and the screencast category so what I do there is when I write up my show notes for each show all I have to do is check the checkbox for the particular category and I always paste the media into the just the default um, place for the media and by doing that it automatically segments that so how can you use that in your church well you could have separate feeds so earlier in a previous episode I talked about basically creating a network for your church where each of the age group ministries has their own podcast but there's another thing you could do you could subdivide your sermons 
into topics. So let's say that you wanted to do a topic for each book of the Bible. So that makes it nice and easy that if someone wants to go through and listen to everything your church has ever taught about Daniel, they could do it just by subscribing to that category. Uh, if they wanted to listen to everything your church has taught about, say, a topic like marriage, they could do that quickly and easily just by subscribing to the Marriage Podcast. But they could also subscribe to all the podcasts that your church puts out and do it that way. So you really have a lot of flexibility. You can uh, kind of lure people in with very specific topics and then they can also get everything that your church does. So that's pretty cool as well. Now the third thing that I think is just a great reason to use PowerPress is, again, we're going to scroll down to the PowerPress plugin. Say that three times. And this is something that I've just found out about if you go to if you click on PowerPress itself and then click on media appearance the media appearance tab and scroll down you can create a subscribe page where you have uh, information for people to subscribe to just the one podcast if that's all you have or multiples and it's really easy to do that because you can have this subscribe page where you just basically create a page, give it a name. In my case, it's subscribe, like I mentioned in the beginning of the show. And you can also put in the short codes here. So there is a playlist short code. So you could have each show with its playlist or a using the PowerPress underscore subscribe short code, basically that says subscribe to the main podcast. But what if you want to do the category podcast? Well, PowerPress has us covered here. Let's let this load real quick. And what's really cool about that is that you can further subdivide based on channel or category. So you can have basically anywhere you want on your uh, church's website, as long as it's using WordPress and using this plugin, you can just put in this little bitty short code, the left bracket subscribe underscore, or sorry, PowerPress underscore subscribe right bracket or PowerPress underscore subscribe channel equals quote the name of the channel unquote right bracket etc and and you can also do that for categories just instead of channel you put in category and the category and so you have a really easy way to put all that information in without going through the trouble of uh, copying and pasting the feed URL and all that jazz, which is the way that I did it way back when. So I, uh, on my subscribe page, I'm actually revamping it. I created it with just hyperlinks and images and all that stuff, and I really didn't have to. Well, as of recently, I haven't had to. Now we've got this short code that will make it very easily. This is kind of the bare minimum short code and I'm just gonna tweak and make that a little bit better and a little bit better and just see how it goes from there. So those are some really powerful features that make podcasting really easy to do uh, by using PowerPress, a free plugin from our friends over at Blueberry. Oh, and I should mention you don't have to use their Blueberry hosting to use their plug-in. I don't, um, but they're, they've just done such good work that I, I really think that uh, your church 
should consider using it. Well, I hope I, uh, that you found that useful. I hope that now you're thinking, oh, that's how we put in both the audio and the video feed. Or, oh, now I can separate out and we can have like a marriage podcast and we can have a stewardship podcast and we can have a, a large podcast for everything that our church does and maybe a children's podcast. So these are just some of the options you have with this very powerful and free plugin if your church is using WordPress. If you like this content, why don't you go on and subscribe to my email newsletter by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can pick up a copy of my email newsletter along with one of four or five different um, church tech gifts of your choosing, all absolutely free. Also, if you like this content, I, I really do my best to create great stuff for you guys, and it's not cheap to do. Um, I'm the only one that pays me to do this, and so if you'd like to join me in that endeavor, if you appreciate the content and you'd just like to see more of it made, then uh, head over to the store and see if there's anything that you'd like to pick up. And uh, you can do that over at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store. And uh, if you're really into this church tech thing, I really think that the best value for you would be to go ahead and pick up a copy of um, a subscription to Church Tech U, where you can get all my content for one low price and uh, just train uh, regularly, ask questions, interact, etc. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.